This is a guide for prosthetic and orthotic departments to support local personal protective equipment provision during the COVID-19 pandemic. It has been developed by Ian Adam, Melville Dixon and team at the Paediatric Orthotics Department, Royal Hospital for Children in Glasgow. And the video will show you face visor manufacture. Okay. Hi right, guys, so here's the instructions. So first of all, take the plasters all along the shortest end, which is about just under 800 mil. Then we're going to cut a strip of that off, so we're cutting it 35 mil depth, which is the thickness of the straight edge. So we'll end up with two of these. Glue one side, stick them together. Once that's done, it doesn't matter if you don't get it exactly on because we're going to buff that anyway. Then we're going to cut that 180 mil. You should get four off of that. So we'll end up with that. Then we're going to take it next door, just buff all the edges, just smooth it off, bring it down level. Then we buffed down one layer, probably in about an inch and a half either side. Then on the red mop, just take all the corners off, just all the way around, finish that off. All right. So the first section was cut and glue, and this is a uh, buff and then bend. Okay, so. I set the oven about 165. This is going to go in for 10 seconds. Put it in the middle of the sheet. Let's count it in 10. Nine. And then just grab it and just twist it right round, near enough so it's touching. Just a bit there. And just hold that till it cools down. That should give us a pre-shaped curve. Okay. So section two was buff and bend. So this is now uh, self-adhesive tape onto the acetate. So just take, just roll the sticky tape out. Just put it as close to the edge as you can. Just allow it to come around the shape. off and then just go up trim all the edges as close as you can to the plasters on now if you just went over a wee bit just run along take that off as well Make sure that's stuck down to the parcel. If you want, you can give your scissors a quick spray with the silicon. That'll stop it sticking. And make sure you give all sticky surfaces a good press down so they adhere properly. Then take one of the acetates. These are the ones which are already pre-formed. So we've only got a few of these just now, but we should be getting some more of these in later in the week. What you want to do is just Judge this roughly in the middle. What I've noticed it's slightly better if you drop it down a wee bit. Don't have it bang on the edge at all, because if you go over the edge, it'll leave a sticky residue from the tape. So just drop it down a wee bit on the acetate. And you want the square edge at the top and the rounded edge at the bottom. Just look for the middle, just down a wee shade. Stick it on. And then just bring the sides up just make sure it's secured all the way along. Give it a good press. Okay. Okay, so that was cut and stick. So this last section is straps, clean and bag. So just take a small piece of self adhesive hook, probably about a, an inch and a half, and just stick it just a little bit back from the edge. Okay, just push that right down. Likewise on the other side. Same again. And then for the straps, we've got the various options. We're going to use the elastic just now, but we can use the foam padding 
or if we start to run it, we'll get quite a lot of elastic, it should be okay. If not, we might need to use a smaller piece of elastic just stitched on, but there's plenty of elastic, black and white. Basically, just stick it on there, bring it round, and that forms the shape. So, if you leave the strap long anyway, and whoever's using it can cut it down. Then, to clean it, just want to make sure using the wipes, clean all over the plastic, all the acetate, because it'll be a wee bit statically, static and then just put it in a bag and we're going to bag them up in tens. This video resource is for use when there is no supply of standard face visors. In normal circumstances, the correct national, regional and international standards of manufacture of medical devices and personal protective equipment should be followed.